Hi everyone, welcome to the next section of this video. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to create physical volumes and how to create the volume groups. We're also going to look at how to create physical extent and what physical extent is. And we're going to look at how to create a logical volume. In the previous video, we looked at what LVM is. We looked at the advantages of using LVM. We also looked at the terminologies and the concepts around LVM like the volume group like the physical volume and like the logical volume all right so now let's get started on how to create all of these physical volumes are created from block devices and a block device could be lungs created from the storage array the physical hard drive or even a partition on a disk so one can technically say that the physical volume is a block device all right so lvm uses the physical volume as part of its management technique and reason why if if a pv is created a certain lvm information like the lvm header will be created on the pv as an identifier confirming that such block device or devices belongs and will be managed by lvm right and the utility that is used to create pv is pv create now so let's create a pv and to create a PV, um, let's see what we have with the block devices that we have on the system. All right, so you can see that um, we have, I have free SDB and SDC. All right, so I'm just going to create a PV on SDB. Okay, so to create the uh, PV, use the command PV create. All right, on the device you want to create on. So we want to create it on the device SDC. Okay. And then you can see that all right one in ext4 okay i have um an ext4 that is detected on this disk it's asking me if i want to wipe it yes of course i want to do that so you can see now that the physical volume has been created successfully okay to verify that the pv has been created you can use the command pvs all right it will show you the pvs that you have on the system so you can see the new PV that we just created, saying that um, this PV is the size is three gig, all right. And if you want to get the full information of the PV that we've created, you can just use the command PV display, all right. You can when you use PV display, it's going to display every PVs that we have here. You can see the new ones that we just created. You can see the PV name. You can see the PV size. You can see the allocatable, the PE size, and Every information you want to know about that, you can get it here. All right, and if you want to grab it to whatever particular um, 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 particular device, you can also use the grab command. All right. So, um, have we known how to create the physical volume? Now let's see how we can create the volume group. All right. Don't forget that um, that the PV has to be initialized for for use by the LVM before volume group can be created all right so the the whole essence is that if there is no physical volume there is no volume group all right so now let's create a volume group and you know that um like i've said that a volume group is also a management technique used by lvm all right so the idea is that a volume group must be created on a physical volume don't forget that you can also have more than one physical volumes all right so if you want to create um a more than one physical volumes you can do this on the devices you want to create it on say sdc or sdd all right and you can have more than you can create more than one physical volumes all right so now um to create the volume group you use the command vg create okay and the vg create will be it will be followed by the name of the volume group you want to create all right so to create the volume group for example technic volume group all right so this is the name of the volume group let me put this as um dash vg okay and followed by the pv all right which is the physical volume you want to create this volume group on and so we want to create this volume group on the physical volume dev sdc all right this is the physical volume we want to create the volume group on and then we, we press the enter key and you can see that the volume group has successfully been created to get the information you can use the command vgs all right 
it will show you the volume groups you have on the system so you can see that the, you can see the volume group that we just created which is technic technic volume group and you can also use the um command vg display all right vg display this will display the volume groups you have on the system with the full information of the volume group so you can see this volume group name which is technic technic volume group i can see the full information of the volume group you can also see the volume group uuid okay so there's one thing you should all you should also know about which is um physical extent physical extent is a block size that is how the physical volume is divided into chunks or blocks of data okay so lvm manages extent in such a way that the physical that the physical extent would have the same size as the logical extent for the volume group all right so when alv is created the logical volume get its extent from the volume group all right and the default physical extent size is 4 mb all right which will even work for most applications when we created this volume group we didn't specify this volume group you can see this volume group we created here we didn't specify the physical extent size all right so meaning that we're going to use the default size which is 4 mb all right so if you want to change the physical extent size then you, you would need to specify the extent size all right and to do to specify the extent size so for example if you want the extent size to be 16 mb you can just use the command i think s all right followed by 16 m all right so this will specify the extent size the physical extent size okay so there are there are a lot of things too you can um a lot of options you can use while creating volume group don't forget that i always tell you that you can use vg dash dash up or you can check the man page of the vg to see a lot of things you can do or how you can create your volume groups in the exam practice questions that we have we have a lot of um, questions pertaining to um, storage management and um, when you check those out you see the way we, we were able to create um, the physical extent alongside with the volume groups all right so the next thing we need to create after creating the volume group is the logical volume and as i have explained that lv is the main reason why we have the physical volume and the volume group in place all right so the idea is to make storage management easier and flexible as we as i've mentioned all right and logical volumes with various size, sizes can be created on the volume group it can be compared to as creating a partition on the hard drive all right so to create the logical volume we use the command lv create okay so lv create followed by the logical volume size don't forget that when we created the volume group here the volume group size that we have is 3 gig all right so for example if i want to create create the logical volume size of 2 gig i'm going to do use the command lv create followed by the option i think l all right and i'm going to put the size of the logical volume i want to create which is 2 gig followed by the name of the volume of the logical volume i can call this tech need logical volume okay and then I want to create this on the technid volume group so followed by the name of the volume group which is technid volume group all right let me make this lower case okay so you can now see that the logical volume has been created so this is the partition we have the lvm partition now which is 2 gig if you use the command lvs it will show you that we now have a logical volume created which is technic technic logical volume created on where on the volume group technique volume group okay and the size is 2 gig if you use the command vgs you will now see that the free size we have on this volume group is now 1020 mmb right so meaning that we have about 1 gig remaining because we've already created a 2 gig logical volume from this volume group all right in the next video we're going to since we now understand how to create all of this we're going to properly create a logical volume partition and we're also going to add the uh, parameters in the fs tab file 
all right so um thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel bye for now